A circular channel having diameter of 2.5 meters carries discharge of 1.8 meter cube per second at a critical depth. Find the critical depth of flow. Now, the critical flow condition is Q square divided by G equal to A cube divided by T. On substituting the equations of area and top width, we can get an equation of this form. This equation is the non-dimensional representation of the above equation. We will make use of this equation to obtain the critical depth. Now let us start. Diameter of the circular channel is 2.5 meters. Discharge is 1.8 meter cube per second. The left hand side of the equation can be easily calculated as we already have discharge and diameter. Its value is equal to 0.0582. Now, the right hand side term should also be equal to 0.0582. Now, we will make use of solver to obtain uh, the correct value of theta. Okay. And once we obtain the value of theta, then we can uh, use this equation to obtain the value of critical depth. Data solver set objective. This cell should be equal to 0 0.0582 by changing variable cell angle theta okay so the angle theta in radians has been obtained it is equal to 1.0166 which is equal to 58.22 degrees okay which is half of this now using this value we will now obtain the critical depth y okay we will make use of this equation again we will use solver solver set objective angle theta equal to 1.016 6 by changing variable cell critical depth so the critical depth has been obtained it is equal to 0 0.5922 meters okay so we have obtained the critical depth now using these equations we can also calculate the wetted area top width and we can also check whether the flow is critical or not okay in this case fraud number is equal to 1 which means it is critical angle 2 theta in radians is 2.033 angle 2 theta in degrees is 116.45 degrees angle 2 theta okay it is 116.45 degrees Area is 0 0.889 meter square. Top width is 2.126 and front number is 1. Okay. So we have obtained the critical depth. It is equal to 0 0.592 meters.